How's it going everyone? Welcome to the channel. My name is Tyler Warlow and I go by The Mengineer. In today's video, I wanna talk a little bit about my personal journey with exercising and fitness and some of the advice that I would like to give people who may be struggling to get started or remain consistent. So starting in the beginning, my journey starts in high school. I was always a pretty skinny kid. I didn't really eat a whole lot and it was something that I was always teased for. So I wanted to get in shape and be athletic. The first thing that I tried to do was run consistently. There was a park near my school that I would go to and I would try to run after school and I very quickly realized that I did not enjoy running at all. I typically felt really bad afterwards. I would get these kind of dizzy spells halfway through. So I dropped that because I felt terrible pretty often. And then I tried doing something that I thought might build muscle and I downloaded an app called Freeletics. This focused on hit type exercises. And at the time I really didn't know what that meant. And what that is, is high intensity interval training. Now, yes, you can use this to build muscle, especially if you're new to the gym, but overall, it's also a pretty intensive cardiovascular style workout. It kind of ended up resulting in me feeling the exact same way that I did with running, where I was feeling awful afterwards. There were multiple times where I would finish a workout and I would go inside and lay on the bed for 30 minutes straight just because I felt so awful and nauseous afterwards. I eventually moved on and tried to do some body weight exercises. I just started off with basic push-ups, squats, pull-ups. I kind of just jumped into that head first and tried to do five days a week and was doing a lot of volume and it was causing my muscles to be extremely sore and stiff. So I eventually dropped that too. Enter the college years. So the first thing that I want to point out was when I say I was a very skinny kid, I mean it. I went to the doctor for kind of the checkup that you have to do before you go to college to make sure you have all your shots, yada, yada, yada. And I was 138 pounds and I am six foot three. Now that is underweight on the BMI scale. So I spoke to my doctor about that and he said if by the next time he saw me, if I hadn't gained at least 10 pounds, he was gonna be putting me on a high calorie diet. So that was something to be aware of going into college. When I entered college, I knew I wanted to continue exercising. I didn't want to do any sort of cardio or anything because I was really concerned about my weight due to that visit to the doctors. And so I kind of just was wishy-washy about it for the next couple years. I really didn't exercise for the first two and a half years of my college experience. There were a couple times that I tried to go to the gym and do some weightlifting because my roommate got into lifting our freshman year and I knew a couple other people that were pretty into it. And so I kind of had that idea that I wanted to do it, but never really pursued it. However, I did manage to gain 15 pounds, get myself up to around 150 pounds due to just eating breakfast more regularly. That was really what my weak point was. So that helped me gain some weight and get me to a, a healthier spot in that regards. But of course, eventually along came the pandemic and I had to move out of my college dorm and move back home. And along with that, I had a lot of extra time. So I took my courses online and afterwards I really had nothing to do. How I filled that time was, okay, I'm going to try and work out. And this is when I first started getting back into working out. Didn't stick with it the best, but it kind of got me started on the track of doing some body weight exercises. And then I went on vacation and I downloaded an, a workout program and decided I was going to do a three day a week program that was for eight weeks and finish it. I had never finished a full workout program before. So this was a pretty lofty goal for me but I wanted to complete a workout program. I started small, I just did the three days a week. I managed to complete it, and once I completed it, I just switched over to a weightlifting program. And as I was able to stick with that, I upped the number of days per week that I was doing it, and managed to get myself into consistently doing workouts for about two and a half years now. Now what I will say is there have been a couple instances in that journey where I've had taken off for a couple months just due to personal issues and reasons and every single time that I did that I noticed a difference. I noticed that I physically felt worse. 
and I noticed that I mentally felt worse. After the most recent stint where I didn't work out, I decided that I'm really gonna try and make sure that I consistently work out. And one of my goals for 2023 actually was to at least work out three days out of every week in 2023. I prefer to do more, but three days is my minimum. And I've been able to stick with that and it's allowed me to gain 25 pounds and mostly muscle. I won't say it's all muscle, but it's a pretty substantial amount of muscle. That's been my personal journey with working out, and I kind of just wanted to give some of my personal advice and tips and tricks to people who might also be struggling to start working out. You want to work out, you want to get started, but you've either been struggling to be consistent with it, or you just can't find something that you really want to do and are struggling with the motivation. So let's go ahead and jump into my tips for those of you that are hoping to start working out. My number one piece of advice is get specific about why you want to exercise. If you're just generally saying that you wanna exercise more, this is a very general goal and it's hard to track your progress or see how you've been doing things regularly. And that can be really demotivating because you really have no way of measuring yourself and seeing the progress that you've made. What is that for you? Is it that you wanna lose weight? Is it that you wanna build muscle? Is it that you wanna gain strength? Any of these are good goals. You could also say you wanna run a mile in a certain amount of time, but get specific with why you wanna exercise because that's also going to affect how you exercise. Each of those things that I just mentioned require different training styles. My next tip is going to be start small and aim to be consistent. Remember how earlier in my story of my journey, I mentioned how my first goal and what really got the ball rolling for me was that I aimed to finish one eight week program that was three times a week. By starting small with the only three times a week and for a short program, you're setting yourself up to win. You're getting that ball rolling, you're building up the momentum to help yourself continue to build this habit of exercise over time. The other advantage of starting small with something like three days a week is that it gives you a lot more flexibility with your time. Doing something like three times a week for only 30 minutes is a lot easier for someone to do and try to learn how to work that into their schedule than if you are trying to just jump into five days a week for hour long workouts when you're not used to that and you haven't adjusted to that lifestyle. It's easier to start small and be able to work your schedule around that. And once you've adjusted and switched your lifestyle, then you can continue to make small tweaks so that way you don't set yourself up for failure. And speaking of consistency, I actually post a new video every single Friday. So if you're finding the information in this video to be helpful and you would like to continue to follow along on this self-improvement journey, hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. And now that we've got that covered, let's move on to the rest of the tips. My next tip is going to be pay attention to what you're eating. And I know that this is easier said than done for a lot of people, especially if you live a pretty fast and busy lifestyle. If you're already trying to integrate working out and exercise into it, it can be hard to imagine yourself paying attention to what you're eating as well. So take this one step at a time. It's all about a balance, right? But what I've personally noticed is that what I eat really does make an impact on how I feel and how the workouts go afterwards. If I eat something that's really heavy or maybe something from like McDonald's, my stomach feels like trash during a workout. And then on top of that, I feel very slow and lethargic afterwards. By trying to focus more on whole clean foods, trying to eat more fruits and vegetables, it helps give me more of that clean energy that I need and doesn't make me feel so bad while I'm working out. Don't go from one extreme of fast food almost every other day to 100% clean and healthy eating. You're just gonna set yourself up for failure with that because it's very difficult for most people to just do this 180 switch from hyper palatable foods to less typically pleasing foods. So, but it's about learning how to season and how to cook things so they taste good to you and are healthy and just finding that balance. And finally, one of my biggest tips for people who are just starting to exercise is experiment and try to find something that you really enjoy doing. 
there are so many different exercises out there for different people and not every person enjoys every single one. In fact, not every kind is beneficial for every type of person. There are people who have injuries, so they actually have to avoid certain type of exercises, otherwise they hurt themselves, those kind of things. But when you're first starting out, take the time to just try all these different things. Go biking, go swimming, try weightlifting, jump roping, you can, Try CrossFit, bodybuilding. Try all these different things and just find what you enjoy. Because if you're going to the gym and you're forcing yourself to do something that you really don't enjoy, are you really gonna stick with it? Probably not. Most people are not gonna push themselves to do something that they dislike every other day, especially as they start to build up the habit and try to do longer workouts. You want to find something that kind of motivates you and excites you and gets you to come back to the gym. Just to use my fiance for an example, she hates running. She does not like to do running, but she recognizes that she needs to do some form of cardiovascular exercises. She took a kickboxing class in college and loved that. It was something that she truly enjoyed. She enjoyed the group environment. She enjoyed the instructor and it got her excited to go to that class and do kickboxing. So that's just an example of how two of the same style of exercises, so in this case cardio, can be vastly different in terms of excitement and motivation for an individual. Speaking of finding something that you like, if you like this video, be sure to smash that like button. It really helps the channel and it helps spread the video to other people. So thank you in advance for that. So just to summarize those tips for you really quickly, it's gonna be one, get specific about why you wanna exercise. Two. Start small and aim to be consistent. Three, pay attention to what you're eating. And four, find something that you enjoy doing. But for now, that's gonna bring us to the end of today's video. If you have any thoughts or questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Also, if you found the information in this video helpful, you might find the information in this video where I covered the four different pillars of exercise to be helpful as well. If you're more interested in my more recent stuff, you can find a video about that right here. But until the next video, this is The Mengineer, signing off.